Here are a few small tips that you can use to get better use out of your Dragon Dictate. One of them is that if you are putting in a sentence that needs to have some capital letters such as the name of an application, for instance I want to have something called Scanner Pro, choose 2, full stop, new paragraph. You will notice that what I did was to stop before I got to the words Scanner Pro and then I was able to use the choose command to get it to go into capital letters, otherwise I would have to tell it specifically to capitalise some letters. Go to end. Because I'm using Markdown for my writing, I have added some special characters so that I can put them in quickly with speech. Header 2. This is so that I can put in a header 2. Choose 2. New paragraph. And you'll notice that when I wanted to actually use the words correct actually, actually, header, two, choose two. I had to separate each of those words so that I could put them in without getting in the hashtags. I can also use the command new line and as you can see in the recognition window, which you should also be using, that I got the choice of changing it to something else. It is also useful to have the available commands window in view. Microphone off. So that is a command that I use quite often, microphone off. This is because so there are times when I go to something else where I don't want the computer to be confused. And this available commands window is really useful because within this here, it tells me all the available commands for Dragon Dictate. And as you can see, there are quite a lot of them. And I think the thing that you can do as a new user to this is to find one or two that are useful to you and to give them a try. If you could just do me the favour of clicking on the like button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. I do spell things in quite often. It's uh, sometimes uh, a case that I have a word that I'm only going to use once or twice and then I won't use it again very often and I will just spell that in. And to do that you use the International Phonetic Alphabet. Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, Echo, Foxtrot, Golf, Hotel, Dictation Mode, Caps Off, Spacebar and so on. As you saw, I was able to choose to have capital letters, otherwise it would have just put in lowercase for me. Something else that I sometimes do is to use the hyphen to separate words. Choose two. The only thing is, is that when I separate the words, I would rather have a space on either side of the hyphen. And so what I have done is to make my own hyphen with those two spaces in there. So this time, bish bosh, you can see that I have got a hyphen, choose two, with the spaces on either side. In the next video I will be making some suggestions on how you can use Dragon Dictate with other applications such as messages and also with mail. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.